What's up Geeks and Gamers, my name is Draymond and welcome to Thorium Gaming, and it's time to hop back into the Eternal Empire, our efforts to turn the entirety of the old world into a faction of order and law and justice. And yeah, we've been chasing orcs and goblins out of the mountains, uh, Elspeth is going east, Static Lore is coming down this way, though his army is a little Master bit janky, engineer. doesn't have a lot of really cool stuff, just the one set of cannons and some regiments of renown. Uh, down on the west here we have the Grand Theogenist, is that his name? Archlector, Volkmar the Grim, Volkmar the headed Grim. to go towards Zazakil, and I have no idea why my mouse wheel is deciding to betray me today. And we haven't moved him yet, so we'll move him up here, because he's going to go after uh, Zara's Zarakzil. I think that's the way we pronounce it, and we'll take that out next turn, and then we can possibly give it to uh, Clan Angrund, completing one of their areas, and then we can pop down into Maragliano and take over these very expensive areas. Because we're already at war with the pirates, and he has enough magic, but he has enough of the artillery that we need to just outshoot the pirate lords. Now, up in the north here, we do have the option. Wolfric the Wanderer is here with a pretty decent stack. And we've got one guy on the ocean here. So what I think we're going to do is just move our ships slightly closer together so we can fight that out. Now, we took the... Tower of Croc last time. We don't have enough money to do anything really with it. Marius himself has leveled up, and he'll be getting immortality here pretty quick. What is this army looking like right now? Mostly basic infantry, along with some archers, some cavalry, and a couple of cannons. And he was going to be a supporter of them. Upkeep, statesman, all that sort of stuff. So let's look into the Emperor's Finest which will make all of his troops a little bit better. And we can keep him in range of Emperor Karl Franz. To battle. And then next turn, I think, we will move Prince out and Franz Emperor. and him towards the Bay of Blades. And then we can take that, take some of this stuff up here and come in and hit the world walkers from the side and then deal with them that way let's get the mark of hish it's needed right now we'll get the uh clear of everything out afterwards and his regs guard will be done next turn so we'll have a bunch of heavy hitting infantry so that'll be good but that's pretty much all we needed for this turn we're gonna be making a lot but let's go into our gunnery school can we start getting oh, we need 1500 to get our first amethyst uh, Hellblast, or Hellstorm Rocket Battery. That's the right terminology, I think. And then we can get that for Elspeth and start making her even more da dangerous and deadly. Oh. Apologies if I seem a little tired or off. I just got back from a work trip, so... Yay, it's a long day. Long days. But now I get to sit down, hang out with all you guys, and have some fun trying to retake the old world. A close victory. They've got a couple of sets of reinforcements. And you know what? I'm just going to do it that way. I know we're trying to fight as much as possible, but I want to guarantee the victory to shift the balance of power there. We probably should have fought it ourselves. Hung Warband is gone. Blood Feuder. Got lots of stuff from them. Killed a bunch. And the Sword of Cain has been picked up. Summon now, that's not entirely counts. great. Step to it. I see no so, other Franz, we will move Make you haste, over. Men. Step to it. I do not agree. Uh, your control is probably going down a fair bit. Do we have anything that just gives straight up control? I'll put a tavern there and help out. It's all good. The tower crack can keep going all I'm really worried about right now, but we can go in now go to the Amethyst Factory and get ourselves a Amethyst Rocket Battery. And what do we need to actually max it out? 
Uh, do, do, do. Just need the gunnery school level 5 to be built. And that'll give us 750 schematics. So let's go check Nuln while we're at it. Because we have a lot of money right now. I lied. What can I do? Uh, the gunnery school is one turn away. And we can actually get the wizard's tower here. But Nuln is pretty much yes, finished Lord. off for what we needed to do. And then it'll just be a place to build up some supplies and money. Uh, the castle right guard has been built. The wizard's tower has been built. Uh, it takes five to level that up, and it's going to take us four turns to get to four. Could drop that down and get some more, because then we get more growth in the region. I think that's what we'll do for there. And yeah, we'll put a growth thing there. How much is the upgrades here? Like 8,000, 6,400, and 8,000 for the Imperial Palace. So we're going to want to try and save as much money as possible here. What does the Emperor bid? The Empire. Our one cheaty battle for the next foreseeable future. And we'll get Blade Master for Marius Lightdoor. If we go over to our wizard. Yeah, we'll get Piercing Bolts, and that maxes that out. Ready. Grimaldis Schreiber after uh, our good buddy Chaplin. Get the last two points in Woundmaker. Brace Eduardo. Sigma. We can get Counter Striker. Because the rest of his skills aren't that great. So we'll just get Counter Striker. And then I will marshal the Kane Solomon. Shield of Faith is definitely going to be good. Um, getting up to level 15 to get him Soul Fire will be just as good. Faith's Bastion. Damage resistance. It's an active ward save around him, so that's obviously awesome. Awaiting uh, Daniel Lebs will get Grand Soulfire, Faith's Bastion. And we were going to make him a basic infantry leader as well, but we wanted him to be right in the middle of the conflict. He has a Bartered Warhorse, so maybe we get him some cavalry going on too. We'll get him Blade Shield for right now, make him harder to hit. Nick Klaus. Get the last two points in Scarred Veteran and get his Honored skills up. Hertwig von Hall, Survivalist, of course. Uh, Roderick of Langwing. We get Foe Seeker and Scarred Veteran. Because the more hit points they have, the better. And then True Kalara, who Sigma. is absolutely awesome. Sight Beyond Sight's good. We'll get Training, first of all. And we need five skill points in the previous tree. Okay. Uh, Fleet Finger. We'll keep leveling her up. And Ulrika Magdova. Confident All-Rounder. Let's get the Miasma to start off with so we can do some spells in battle because she is with Elspeth, who is going to have an incredible amount of magic. And uh, Pieta Zintler is getting another level as well. So let's get him Blade Shield, make him harder to kill. That should be all of our people all leveled up. So... Now, that leaves open several areas that we can go to. He's got a lot of monsters, and their armies right now are a little bit down. We are going to go towards the Longship Graveyard, because I think that's their capital. No, not really. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take... Yes, my lord. We still have a lot of money. To the provinces. You've got one unit of great swords left. Your infantry is mostly the dwarves. You have very little in the way of gunners. Can't recruit anything here. Let's get you up to the longship graveyard. Move. Get you both close. Ready to serve. And we'll let Lebs do that. Ever onward. And what we can do right now, because I know. Uh, there was a new the bid? sub to the channel. This is going to be PC. The Sound Knight. He's in, going to be in there now. We can start building him an army up. We're making 2870 per turn. So we'll take a look at him in just a sec. But let's go deal with Elspeth and her stuff first. I have no idea... I don't really want to go to war with Grimgore just yet. 
let's check out our quick deals and everything that we can do. Hemery, I'm not worried about. Goldtooth and Kemri, not really worried about. It would be great if we could get a deal I am with open to assisting your for a thousand. So long. Yeah, I'll take a defensive dragon. alliance because that gives us a lot more options up here. Military hmm. alliance, joint confederation. We're still not quite there, and we could peace out with a bunch of these things, but we're not going to. The wars we're in right now are just fine. Work to do. So static lore, you've got some elite infantry. We're going to follow Casador uh, down. It's hard going through the mountains. That's fine. We got Dusty right here. I don't really want to send Elspeth that way, so we're going to pull her back around. And the World's Edge Archway, we're going to level up. Because we want to turn this into basically our fortress on this side here. Now, Volkmar the Grim, we're going to get our battle for the start of the episode. It's a decisive victory, and armor-piercing damage we are going to give to our allied units from Bretonia. Now, this battle should be over fairly quickly. We have a ton of artillery, including good mortars, and we have a wizard, so this should be good. They're sallying out to meet us. They don't have a full ogre camp, but when we can take this, possibly leave it to the dwarves of Clan Angrund, and make them a little bit stronger in the area, give them a full setup. I definitely want to keep these Hell Blasters out front and get our Hell Storms, you know, set up in a good position. Should be good and fine and decent. Do uh, the ogre bulls are the only real thing in their threat, and that's their only range as their trappers. So this should, in theory, go pretty quickly, as long as we can just get our artillery in a position where it can rain down death and destruction. We use our outriders to go up and like pop them a little bit, and then run away, because our that's what outriders do. All right, so we're gonna set the Bretonians as the center of our line. We're going to force them to come at us. So, set up our infantry like so with our each behind. We'll set some knights up in these forests. So, if these ogre bulls decide to come around, they'll be rather disappointed. Our wizard is not yet on horseback, so that's fine. We will set up our gunners there to see what they can do. Ready now our cannons, we're going to set here. Our hell, hell blasters can go right there. So let's get you a little bit closer. We're going to move the infantry and everything else up a little bit. So our artillery can actually go up on this hill pretty well. Put our hellstorm rocket batteries there. We don't need to channel magic, so let's start the battle and quickly pause. All of you are going to advance. Now it's just a matter of dealing with everything like so. Then we'll send our knights in to deal with more.
everything's going pretty good. The ogres are suffering pretty badly. I think we're at this point we can just speed it up and watch what the rocket batteries and everything else do. See if our artillery can get a few more kills in before the battle is done. Snow Blarp trappers are pretty much out of the fight. That should be good for the battle. I have suffered a few casualties, a pair of them, but that's to be expected. Our Hell Blaster uh, rocket, or the volley guns and the rocket batteries. So I'm just going to go with that Hell Blaster or Hell Storm. I'll probably keep screwing up. Looks like a few of our iron sides got some shots in, which is good. A few of the ogres made it out, which is not too bad. They can just wander around as mercenaries in the Empire now. I'm going to occupy that city. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Setting forth. I am Belaga, true king Let's of see if we can thieves. trade it. Uh, Zeraz kill. Okay. All right, so we made a bunch of money off of that, which works for us. Never yield. That is an awful lot of money coming in. We can do some stuff with that before we call the turn done. I will so, Nuln, we don't have anything else that needs to be built right now. And we don't need growth for Nuln. Altdorf probably do some stuff. Is Elspeth able to hire the me. Amethyst units? She can. Elspeth von Drachen. Now, if we kick out Your that may be at an end. and hire in we are the our Amethyst Hellstorm Empire. rocket battery, that's better off for us. I would love to shift these null and iron sides out for either amethyst iron sides or more health or amethyst um, rocket batteries. We'll see how that works. And we should probably start looking at building up some of the big places in here, like Castle Drakenhof. It has a gold mine, it has the ability to produce a lot of money for us. We should look into getting these a little bit better. You know, let's bring down the corruption in the area. I know it's not bad now, but a little bit of investment in our infrastructure. Uh, the Griffin Wood, again, we are going to use this as kind of a rest and restore place. With Gardens of Moor, though, we have one at Drakenhof, Backhofen, and Middenheim. So these places should be upgraded as best we can. So we'll start upgrading those, and then we can possibly make Akendorf one as well. But we should just upgrade that in general. That'll bring us a lot more money in. And then PC. We have about 2,800 gold coming in for right now. Let's grab you a set of great swords. And we're going to grab you some artillery and some gunners too. Uh, Hawkland Long Rifles. I'll grab you a Hellstorm Rocket Battery. It's going to take two turns. And we'll grab you a Rake's Guard. I don't remember what we gave you hard to hit to begin with. We're going to make him pretty much like this. Build his army up as best we can. And we're going to save the rest of our cash for right now. 
let the other nations go, and we'll see how it works out. Still got lots of time left this week, a few more turns for sure. Get everything going. The Disciples of the Maw, I'm not too worried about now. Depends on where their last fortress is. I think it's like right here. And if we can take that out, yeah, the Western Border and Princes, we take that out, be fine. The Empire is going strong. Death is so close. For 500 gold, you want a pre peace treaty. Wolfric, you are kidding, right? Jagged Horn Tribe's gone. And we've got rifled barrels, so our missile units are now even better than they were. And our gunnery school is built. The Academy of Excellence. Amethyst land ships are available. We have Amethyst Artillery, the Purple Eclipse, and upkeep for gunnery units, all armies. Bam! That is a lot to do. And with our rifled barrels, we can start looking at getting some cavalry upgrades as well. Let's go with blinkers for right now, because that'll be good for us. The empire of our innovation. So let's go and start here, down in the southern tip. Volkmar the yes. Grim, and his Josh von Blout as his star student. We could start student. Our King Conduit is more important right now, though. You're going to head towards Miragliano, because if we capture that, it's a great amount of invest or money coming in. It's a great resource city. Then we'll head down towards Sartosa, because it has a couple of things that we can take over, and that's fine. Now, Argalis is the area where we have to worry about, and the Myrmidons, we might as well get it leveling up, too. These capital buildings we should start focusing on. I serve the Helden Hammer. And you're gonna Helden hit circle. Raise Sigma. I do not agree. Onwards, Sigma. And we're gonna jump in here and get these heroes to fire off. Taking another little city from the World Wakers. And it's an actual city fight, too, which is different for fighting on their turf. But we do have the organ guns, which is definitely going to help us out. And we have, of course, the Hargig Jaeger Corp Hawkland Long Rifles. He's got a lot of mercenary units, the regiment's renowned, which is okay for now. I'd like to get them swapped out for Amethyst eventually. Because, well, Amethyst is just straight up better. These organ guns are going to do a lot of work. And then when our allies come in, we'll set up here and just advance in together as one big group. Just have to outshoot them, devastate the walls, basically trash all of the Norsemen that are here. Take the city, turn it into a place where we can start upping our presence in the north, I guess is how you'd put it. Do they even have the ability? We're going to channel magic on 7 for sure. We're rewarded for that. We are Sigmar's heirs! Ready for war! Missile infantry! Morgan Gorna! We are ready! I think we're actually just going to advance in normally. Reg's guard will put over there. Try to do this effectively. Put you in a place where you can start shooting pretty quick. Do the same with you. Yes, General. Put our archers there. Lebs front and center, and along with all of the, the captains. Standing by. For the war hammer. All right, that should do it. And I completely forgot about our artillery. Come on! Off we go! Rexburg Knight! 
Let's advance our infantry and our archers up so our archers can start shooting. See if we can get that hero in range as well. Everybody who's got ranged equipment we want to get up as best we can. Let's get these organ guns up a little bit closer. All right, our reinforcements have arrived. Which we'll have to deal with in just a sec here. I think that's everything on the field. So those are all the characters in there. Group those up. So we're gonna want to group up as much as we can of the same style. Group those up. Steam tank, we can just get to come over here. Uh, you guys, same deal. Get in here. Bring all of our gunners down there. All right, then we'll just wait for the shift. don't have much left. Should be getting to the break point here pretty quick. Let's destroy this and start moving inside the walls. I'll send you guys off to deal with that. We're out of mana, so...
All right, that was kind of a quiet battle because I was focusing, but we'll take the city. And then we'll spend some turns getting our forces back to full health and maybe rearranging them a bit. We didn't lose a soldier, and our artillery did a massive amount of damage. So hopefully, if we take over this city, we'll be good. We actually haven't run into any lizard men that have been either friendly or hostile. We know of them. We've been doing a little bit of diplomacy, but haven't actually seen their armies on the map yet, which, let's face it, isn't unusual. We do have the hunter, Huntsmaster General. He uh, lost in the forests of Lust or jungles, not forests of Lustria. The nation calls. Champion of the faith. Praise be to Sigma. Awaiting orders. All right, Lebs, let's get you blade shield, and we will get you. I don't want to give him cavalry because he's on a horse. Yeah, we'll give him speed of horse. We'll make him standardized infantry because he's got a bunch of heroes with him. And we'll give Niklaus the horseman stuff to make him better at leading horse and cavalry. I'll get you the Mark Heesh. The Paladin. To get you the last rank in training. Get all the people in Lev's army up as quickly as we can. Yeah, that is the best ability for her. It makes me kind of want to play the Wood Elves a little bit, but not overtly. And let's get you Deadly Blade for now. have all the stuff. Pretty sure. Looks like it. Can't get the next rank of Mentor just yet, so let's grab Specialist just in case we have to do something with him. And then Kane. Uh, replenish troops. More replenishment and more troops is more better. Master engineer. Now static lore. Onwards. There is much to Pull do. you down through the mountains. Hopefully Black Crag falls to somebody, but you got a big army that has a lot of Expert Ragnarok spiders coming innovation. towards you. But you should be able to outshoot it. Elspeth von Drachen. Danger is at our heels. Elspeth is move, Nolmers, move. booking it to keep up. Because once she catches up with you, the two of you can just bound through there with no problems. They will obey. And Franz. Step to it. Yes, my lord. Just gotta keep you two together. I lied. What can I do? Jorah Grim, go there. Now our outpost should be in as a crack and I think it's time to upgrade that just a little bit and if we have Kappelberg we can get some wood going in there Forester's hut to help us out that should be everything we can let the other nations go and see how it works out we do have a lot of battles going on all at once so it's gonna be a good time for us to start steamrolling some of these installations are you so keen to meet more that you... Oh, you're declaring war on us. Well, we're going to need another army up there to help defend the northeastern section. Maybe that's where PC is going to head. We're now at war with the Chaos Dwarves, which means this whole mountain range is probably at risk. We may consider bouncing out of some of these wars that we're in right now. Ulrika got hurt again? Amethyst Guardian. 
pioneer of progress. Dark Lady of Nome, uncovering the arcane, drawing upon death. I don't know if that was just a like lash out sort of situation or if that's them trying to actually fight us. So we know they got Plesk and all this. <sighs> Boris, let's get you into camp stance. Guys, heal up. What does the Emperor bid? Yes, my lord. And we can't do much to reinforce you this turn. Get you some great swords and another set of Hawkland long rifles. We can get a Hellblaster rocket battery though. Or Hellstorm rocket battery. Lebs, we're gonna skip you. Jura Grim, you're just gonna keep staying in Nome. Because that's what we need you to do. Volkmar the Grim. This will be our first battle against the Pirates of Sartosa. And we don't need to really do much here. We've got a lot of artillery that should be able to just pierce the walls and let us take them. Cannons beamed at the walls that help blaster... Rocket... Or hell blaster volley guns? Yes. Hellblaster volley guns will take care of the infantry and sweep them off the walls while the Hellstorms do what Hellstorms do best. I think the cavalry and the infantry are going to be the biggest contributors to storming the castle, but the artillery is going to be the artillery. So we're going to see how it works out. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. There's two towers there, but if we set up on this side, we can basically just walk through the door. So let's put the squires in the center. Group of our cavalry, group you guys, group you guys, group you guys. All right, let's get set here. wizard there. Put our cannons there. In the name of Sigma. All right, we're getting shot at already, which is, you know, to be expected. They are the vampire coast and not vampires themselves they actually have shooting which is not ideal for us but we outshoot them severely we're gonna send our knights all the way down to that end of the wall because I forgot to place them in a good position and can we drop That's looking good. Send our knights in that side. We 
we'll just see how much damage we can do with our wizard and our artillery before we actually charge in here. Just speed it up a little bit so we can uh, get our artillery in position. They're pulling some units off the wall because we're charging the gatehouse down here. Okay, they are using the bats to slow us up. Want to get out of there before the uh, pole arms get involved, if at all possible. Looks like the bats are done. We can just let our wizard and Volkmar himself, because Volkmar still has ability to drop some vortexes and stuff. With the doors down. Nice and simple way to deal with everything out here. They can actually charge up and take the main building. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to send them and take the, the... Oh, we can't. It's locked. we got to take some other stuff. But we can run over here and take this. Attack damage resistance. The Empire in the name of Sigma. We serve Bran. Is there a victory point up here? There it is. Send our little outriders to do that. Gold. 
All right, the main place is still locked. <coughs> Excuse me. And now it's no longer locked, we can start taking it and getting some victory points. <coughs> Excuse me, I seem to have a tickle in my throat right now. I lost six soldiers to 1260. I'm actually curious. What is that in percentage? That's 210 to 1. I cannot be disappointed with those odds. And that takes Miragliano, which is a great place to start building up our forces in the southwest. Our wizard did 282 kills. Holy crap, that is a lot of dead undead. <coughs> Ah. Hopefully I didn't catch a cold while I was on the road, but could be. Alright, Maragliano. That gives us growth too, doesn't it? Yep. So that's fine. My knowledge is Volkmar yours. the Grim. Honest steel, so your great swords are better. Pistol core for all of your gunners and everything like that. We can actually get, make you hard to hit for a change. That's good. Maragliano under our control. Lots can be different. Step to it. Onwards. <coughs> to the provinces. Pick up the pace. And where did that army for the Sarls go? Ah, it was headed there. Well, it looks like Marcus Wolfhart is going to come in here. We might have to retake Norton. Then we can start just ravaging the inner plains here. And we'll let the other nations go and see how it works. Really annoyed that Ulrika is... Take the heroic victory. Oh, wow, they actually had an army up there already. Didn't involve our lords or anything, so we can actually pa pass that one without I feeling guilty no about it. We are not trading with you. You are dead. We do not allow the dead to reign over the living. This one, however, we got to do ourselves. It's a lightning attack. Got a Wa unit. And this. So hopefully we can devastate these forces as quickly as possible. I'm running out of time for this week, but I want to finish off this turn at least. Maybe give a little bit extra time, because, well, I've been feeling about the hour and 15, hour and a half videos lately, and I don't know why. We have a good place to set up where we can just set artillery up and blast these goblins coming in. Probably use the uh, Amethyst Hellstorm rocket battery to get rid of the rock lava, and then... The Ragnarok spiders and all this stuff should be fine. We have no reinforcements. It's just army on army. And, yeah. With Bruckner back, he can take his Demogriff Knights and just decimate them. We can deal with the Boar Boys pretty easy. This should go in our favor really, really, really simply. So 
soon as it decides to load up, we'll take Elspeth across and just rain down death and everything upon them. So there's our front line. Let's actually set up like this. Hopefully they s are cognitive enough for us to deal with how we want to deal with them. We are ready. Bruckner. Give me the word. See if channeling magic gives us any more spell power. Oomph did not it actually hurt us by a significant amount. That's fine. The dead None of their stuff is me. in range of any Whisper of our stuff, of which kind of, battles of old. disappointment. They tell tales of our foes' weakness. Should be coming in range of our artillery here pretty quick. A rogue idol. That's different. There's a lot of infantry over there. Quick march! All their beasties and everything are coming over there. Send a unit. Let's send two units of great swords over here to kind of hold the line. Spread these guys across to hold everything up. Wow, that is a lot of damage coming out on those. Let's see if we can get some... Our Demogriffs and Bruckner are doing good right now. Might be a bit risky to drop that close to us, but... We'll even send her in, where are our Demogriff Knights? We have a chance to eliminate Skarsnik here, if she can get there in time. And with Skarsnik dead... Oh, 
over 100 to 1. That is a lot of damage dealt. And those Ragnarok spiders do not stand up to artillery or massed handgunner fire at all. Let's see about getting more Amethyst units in here. I'd really like another Amethyst uh, Hellstorm rocket battery. But we'll see how that works out. Ulrich will be back shortly to join up with her army again. And that was a Wa army too, which... Wow, that's a large amount of forces that we didn't have to fight. War is cruel. We do not need to be. Alright, gained some traits and everything. <sighs> yeah, it's a decisive defeat. Protector of the weak. We've got ships coming here. Who called? We'll let the Emperor come in and deal Warrior with them. Of Sigma. Send Lebs and his I unit to deal with Hamathane Frost, and then our troops will come in. I am France. They will obey. Right, we'll deal with that in a sec. We'll deal with them in a minute. Right now, I want to focus on the other battles where we need a lot of stuff. Sigma, grant me strength. Let's just go focus on Elspeth for a second. Where is that war up in the mountains? Yeah, that's where you came in. Alright, we've got no a noble. Perceptive Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter who has got the helmet on. Confident is pretty good. So we got for arch lectors. So weapon master in there. Strong though. Strong is great. Arch lector, true servant of Sigma. We'll give you a hard to hit, inspiring presence, route marcher. Call that done, and we will name you. Maddie Chow Klaus, and we'll get you some infantry as quickly as possible. A couple of units of great swords, a couple of cannons, and what kind of gunners can we get you for right now? Hawkland long rifles will do just fine. Let's go to our gunnery school. Could get a land ship, but I don't want to get a land ship right now. I want another Amethyst Hellblaster. And then we'll work on getting these upgrades. That'll work out there. Now let's go to Elspeth, who should be somewhere in this area. Pretty sure. Okay, we were a little bit further south than I thought. Master Engineer. Elspeth von. Elspeth Drachen. actually leveled up. Can she she can't get the next rank of mentor yet. Doom and Darkness, I'm not. It's just a leadership hex. Let's get logistician. I must keep my weakness for our engineer in here can get mentor. Check. Theodore Bruckner. Let's get him a wound maker. He's gonna stay around with these guys. She's in normal stance. Well, she, she's not gonna be reinforced. Burdened by... with brilliance, I've calculated the best route. Shaiish empowers me. And a decisive victory. We're definitely going to stall this out a little bit longer. Because I am kind of having fun right now. And after being on the road, you know, kind of suits me to come in and play around a little bit more.
Now we're on the other side of that battlefield. Not ideal, but if we set up our artillery in the right places and wait for our reinforcements to come in, which should be coming in right behind us, we'll get a bunch of artillery all mashed up and just devastate them. Set up, try and keep them penned here, and we'll wait for our reinforcements to arrive. Then we'll probably push closer and just try to hold the side of the bridge. I mean, they can come across, but if we hold the woods with our artillery, should be fine. Alright, so group you up. Okay, they're all set up there. So we're going to try and advance down. Get all of our artillery in range. Billy, not folly. Verena, guide our aim. All right, what's sitting over here? Champion of the Countess. Bruckner, you and your troops are going to go there. We're just going to pause real quick. Because what I want to do is set up our great swords, all of our gunners, Bruckner and his troops. Get our artillery well within range. Just set them up there. And we'll go fast. We're going to be using Elspeth to deal some damage before they even get here. Alright, Static Lore and his troops have arrived, so let's just pause real quick. Get the cannon over here, get the steam tank to rise up here along with the land ship. Dwarfs can go in the middle. Group you up and send you to cover this angle here. Get our archers to come over here and shoot over. Get you lot to come up here. You can set up with the rest of the Hawkland long rifles. And we'll use our artillery as good as we can. The Dark Lady of Nome. That looks like a nice, juicy target for Purple Sun of Xerxes. Where's the largest unit in there? At this point, it's just watch the havoc as our knights ride down a bunch of the orcs and goblins. This is pretty much why we keep the knights around. Just to run down people after the fight. Take out as many of the troops as we can, and then it guarantees the units are going to die off. So one of you after that unit. ended there. Decisive victory. Devastated the orcs and goblins in the mountains. That is exactly what we wanted to do. 
look into getting all the rest of our troops up. The two extra armies can deal with the entirety of the Chaos Dwarves on our right flank. Oh, there's so many fights that we got to do this week, and I'm happy about it. It means we get extra time in. See how long this one goes. It might be an extra long episode, because I don't really want to quit right now. Especially when we have these Amethyst rocket batteries doing their work. We'll take the gold right now. Cold. Money's more important. We do not need to be. Terrifying mask of E. We kill the Lord. Master engineer. Just as I designed. Wherever my craft is needed. And our hero here. Can't get mentor quite yet. His infantry is good. Let's get him wound maker. Make him a little bit more deadly. Elspeth von Drachen. Elspeth has two more points. Less attrition would be good. So we got one more point to go into there. Which means we have two points to spend on anything else in this lineup. We got the gunnery, we got Honest Steel, which are both good. Maybe we drop the last couple of points into Pistol Corp. And make our gunners even better. Add it to my collection. Can't get another rank and mentor just yet. Don't need deadly onslaught, really. Uh, Bandolier will give him more ammunition. That will definitely help out, even though he's not really in the fight a lot. Let's get him deadly blade maxed out. Uncovering the arcane. So that's that done. Let's get you as close as we can. By the comet. My orders are to move. Then next turn we should be able to put them in and take that out. Has shown us the path. Volkmar the Grim. Let's go deal with Riff Rafa. They have a Ooh, that's RNS Assault Spite. Let's see what the battlefield's gonna look like. Okay, it's gonna be on the field. They're gonna sally forth, which means we can let all of our artillery just devastate them from range. Sit back, let the artillery do its thing. Maybe send the knights around to have some fun. Let the iron sides hang back and just pelt them. This map's really good for artillery-based armies. Nice little sip of Dr. Pepper, as usual. Not sponsored in any way, of course. Just really, really like my Dr. Pepper. Then we'll look at getting PC some more troops and equipment. Great swords! For Helm and Hammer! And Gunners! It shall be the Empire! All right, so we'll set you guys up like so with your gunnery behind you. You guys are going to go with the cavalry. Volkmar, we're going to get you right up here. Wizard on the other side. I use the right mouse button. That'd be perfect. Our cannons. Hell blasters and hell storms. To glory, gold wizard. There go the rockets.
This almost feels like cheating. Wow, that was devastating for them. Knight's got a few kills in. The artillery did most of the work. <laughs> Just sit back and watch the desolation of the undead. We'll take the money from this because we didn't take any losses. So, well, I guess it's a city. So we're going to get money anyway and take over the settlement. And we can move right down towards Aranessa's little capital, which is a great place to set up shop. So if we take that over, we'll be doing good. And we might want to look at our uh, diplomacy options here pretty quick, too, because we are rocking this. We are bringing at least the Old World, Britonia, the Dwarvish Mountains. They're all underneath the forces the of order. Instrument of Sigmar's will. All right, and right here, more money coming in. That's what we're going to do for that. Grand and you have hit level 13. I'd love to give you Sigmar's Ward, but you need to get to 16 to get your Pegasus. Uh, final Transmutation would be good, but let's get Star Student to make your spells come off faster. We'll deal with that. Knowledge is power. Well, let's check out our quick deals here real quick. Followers in the Gash and uh, Kemri could possibly... Is there any way to... I will weigh what you no, have we to can't say balance that out yet. Uh, trade agreements. Goldtooth, Kemri. They don't hate us. And it's improving. We've been fighting off their enemies, I think. Yeah, they're at war with the Grimgor's Ard Boys. Not surprising. Northern provinces don't want to get involved yet. Talson. We can get a... Welcome, son of our military Sigmar. alliance with Talson. Yes. yes. So the Wood Elves are on our side now. And they are a force of order, I consider, anyway. Now, is there anything that we can piece out of easily? Uh, I kind of don't want to piece out of that, but if we piece out with the world walkers, because they're strong up north, we could focus on dealing with Albion. And we can send those forces to the east to deal with our war against Astaroth. The chieftains want pillaging and plan. So we'll peace out with them for right now. And that'll give our troops free reign to move to the east. The disciples of the Maw want to peace out with us too, but whatever. Until we're actually at risk of something. Alright, so let's go find PC. Sound Knight. He's going to have one more thing of artillery here pretty quick. If he has great swords, why did we get Reichsguard? We should get him Demigriff Knights with Halberds. Peace out those Reichsguard. That was kind of silly. We'll have two Hellblaster rocket batteries. Get volley guns. Gardens of more give us access to some. Rackenberg's vengeance! Which means, Boris, we can actually send you back to help out Labs, Marius On the Wolfhart, hunt. or Marcus Wolfhart. You're not in any place that actually has facilities, are you? And the nearest ones are down here. I get you halberdiers and everything if we upgrade it. Marcus Wolfhart, let's go! Send you back down this way. In the stag can just get some more income. Ready to do the guild's bidding. All right. And then we got to go up to the mountains here and make sure that that's all set up. If he attacks again, we do have a significant garrison. Plus the fact that we got Maddie up there, so that'll be great. But I think. As much as I don't want to, I think that's where we're going to have to leave it for this week. If you liked the video, please consider hitting that like button. If you'd like to join up with the 232, join me in this or other Let's Plays, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss, uh, miss when a new video comes out. I swear I can do this outro. And make sure you to drop a comment down below, and that will help me see who wants to be inside the videos. It makes it a lot easier on my life. But remember, guys, life is a game, so play to win. And until next time...
Take care.